probably can hear me in the, maybe you can hear me in the phone, I'm not sure. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm just gonna wait uh, for a couple of you to pop on um, before we start and I'm gonna get my music, it'll give us uh, some time while I get my music sorted for people to pop on. Good morning, good morning. Okay, today is uh, Saturday. And if you had a chance to do yesterday, you might be feeling um, oddly sore. So if you don't, if you've never done a sculpt yoga with me, uh, I highly recommend you try that workout we did yesterday. I can't tell if you can hear me on my earphones or on here, so I'm just gonna switch this over. Oh yeah, it's on here. And um, yeah, so we have today four exercises, two blocks. We are actually gonna go through these exercises, uh, these blocks three times. So it is going to be challenging. It's kind of, I would say it's a combo hit, but we are doing quite a bit of metabolic strength. So I want you to make sure you do options where you need to here today. It's gonna to be a fun workout. Um, whoops, 45 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. Don't have your weights, just hang around so you trip over them uh, like me. And we're gonna do a quick warm up. I'm gonna try and make that work up, the warm up as quick as possible today. We, gotta get, we did light weights yesterday and oddly what happens when you do light weights in like a slow um, fashion, you get sore. Sorry, I just wanna pick a playlist here for me. All right, I see you popping on. I got rid of that silly little star thing. Finally, Marlia, Sandra, Sharon, I see you all. Okay, I know it's 9.31, just give me one more sec. Playlist, why isn't it letting me go there? Okay, here we go, cardio. Um, pick something that's going to make your um, workout, like honestly, blast that music. Hmm. Maybe we'll do this. I'm just Spotifying right now. I haven't even made playlists. I just like pick like the ones that they make for me. Uh, I'm still battling the hamstring and I'm, my cold is lingering, but I, I feel better. I feel like I have energy. Arm circles. Like I said, this warm up is going to be really, really, really quick today. So hopefully you can follow along as quick as possible. Oops, arm circle forward. Gotta get away from my ceiling. Other side, arm circle back. Rotations, so important. You will need your BOSU if you have it. Um, you will also, I, don't, I didn't pull the bench in yet. Um, you have the option to lunge or step up. I'm definitely gonna be stepping up. You can also step up onto a lower Reebok step or the bottom of your stair. We're, we're gonna roll up and down. We're gonna come up and open up through your chest. Tuck your chin, and then you're gonna need your weights, your body weight, and that's it. Opening up. Tuck your chin. And we probably will do a little bit of a finisher because you know how much I like those, but we gotta whip through this first. One more time roll. Hang down there this time, pedal those knees. Shake your head yes and no. Pull, grab opposite elbow, sway side to side. Pedal those knees as much as you need to. Interlace those fingers, clasp your elbows around your head. Slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time. Side lunge, alternating. Sitting back into your glutes, quick, quick warm up. Then we have two blocks of four exercises. We're gonna do each block three times. Come to the center, squat to reach. If you want, adding a little bit of a hop. Four more. Take it wide, inner thigh squat, two down, two up. Down, down, up, up. Sitting back. Up, up, down, down. Two more, down, down. One more. Side to side, drive your bum back. This could be taken to a side squat here, if that's easier for you. Two more. 
squat to reach or a little hop. Four more, four, three, two, one. Take it wide, down and up, just singles for eight, seven. Weight is in your heels, drive your bum back, knees over your toes. Three, two, and one. Come to the top of your mat. All right, take a big inhale breath. Do another fold down. Hang down there, let your head and neck hang. Pedal those knees again. Plant your hands, step back into your plank. Push into your heels. Give me eight mountain climbers. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Push back into downward dog. Press through those calves, get a stretch. Come forward again, eight mountain climbers. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Like I said, I'm trying to get us warm a little quicker. Back to downward dog, pedal those heels. We're coming forward again. Mountain climber, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One, push back, but then come down to your child's pose. Hands to the right, bum to the left. Reach and get a nice big side stretch. Take a big inhale and an exhale. Switch to the other side. Take a big inhale. Take a big exhale. Come to all fours, cat cow. Release the belly, drop. Round and tuck the chin to the chest. Inhale, and exhale. Walk forward onto your elbows. Find your plank on your knees or your feet and your elbows, and you're gonna tap your knees round and tuck, push through your heels. Knee tap for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, let's hold it here for five, for four, for three, for two, for one. See if you can come up to your hands from where you are. Push back to downward dog again. Pedal those heels, lift up one leg, open it up, swing through, drop your back knee. Rotate towards me, fold and open, finding what you need here. So chest opening, maybe hand behind the head, finding what you need in the legs. For two, fold and round, and one. You're bending everything. Both hands back if you can, back through downward dog, lift the other leg, open it up. Swing through, drop your back knee. Open, close, open, close, Two more. Last one, open. Come back through plank. Walk your hands all the way back towards your feet. Slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time. Tuck your chin to your chest, open it up. Open up those chest muscles. Okay, we're going. Like I said, it was quick. How did I do? All right, so you have the option to step onto your bench. I think what I'm gonna do because of my hamstring, I should be good to myself. By the way, hamstrings, you guys, when you injure them, <coughs> they take forever to heal. So this is why I keep suffering. All right, so you're gonna grab weights. The first one you're gonna do is you're gonna be step up, curl, okay, same leg. Now you can keep the foot on or tap it down. So you can just be here. This is probably what I'm gonna do. You can go higher on your step or your bench. You can do this on the second step, which is even higher than my Reebok step. Okay, we're curling. We're curling here. One side, 
Then we have a burpee to a push-up. Okay, I'll use this step so I can show you that. Then we have the other side. Then we are going to hop over the step, or you can hop over your BOSU, or you can just hop over your mat. So there is gonna be some jumping, right? We're gonna do that three times. Ready? So picking the weights that are challenging for both your biceps and your legs. I'm gonna keep my foot on and be looking like this, okay? Now, you can do this whole thing without any of those pieces of equipment. You can lunge. You can lunge and curl at the bottom to make it challenging. Ready? 40 seconds on, 15 off. Three, two, one. Pick up those weights, you're going. So one side, one side. So curl at the top, knee at the top. Down you go. So I would say if you want a more challenging movement for those legs, I would go to the lunge, curl at the bottom, or a bigger step up. I'm doing a little bit of a lunge at the back to get a little extra. You decide, this is very low. Two, one. So we're gonna do the other side after we do the burpee push-up. So I'm gonna show you the burpee push-up here. We have 15 seconds on my step. You can do this to the floor. It's gonna go fast because we're adding that push up from knees or feet, go. So you're gonna go down, maybe from your knees or your feet, okay? And because I have this step, I can do this fun jump thing if I want. So just showing you a different version. This could be on the stairs, but we're adding that push up. Now, if you don't like this, you can be on your back doing a chest press. It will be less cardio. Two, one. 15 seconds, we're going to the other leg. Okay, and remember, you can be on your back for chest press if you don't like that burpee business. Or take out the chest push up. Two, one, you're here, curl. Curl and knee up at the same time if you can. If not, keep the knee down. Doesn't take much for that heart rate to go up now. step is in the frame. All right, guys, hopping over your mat or your step or your BOSU, okay? So I'm going to be here, hopping over here. Three, two, one. If you have a chair, you can be here or a bench, okay? You pick. Something cardio, maybe it's this. This is a little easier. Make it hard, big hop over. If you're over top of your mat, pick up those feet. Two. One, you have 15 seconds. If you need water, grab it. Going back, it's very simple. First exercise, lunge curl. Two, one. Simple but hard. Trying to catch your breath. depend how hard you push in that cardio. 
If you keep it low impact, your heart rate won't be up as much. Totally fine. Two, one. You've got those burpees. I'm gonna push this forward. Make sure I have room. Getting ready. Three, two, one. Here I go. Now, I didn't do the push up. I'm gonna do it now because I forgot. This will slow down your burpee doing your push up from knees or feet. You'll do less. Chest. And it's easier when your hands are elevated. Two, one. Quick pause. If you want, you're not somebody who has that available to you. This is just as good. You can go down, maybe to your knees, and do the BOSU one, okay? There are so many options. Step up on the other side, getting ready. 14 seconds. I'm gonna back this up a bit. Whew. Here we go, three, two, one. So I'm going to keep my foot on the step, knee up and curl at the same time. This is a lunge to a curl at the top. You can always do those curls at the bottom. It's a little harder. Find your core with that knee. One. I'm going to show you the chair hop over if you have this available to you. You've got the full 15 seconds. Getting ready. Three, two, one. Hop over something, whether it's your bench, your bosu, your mat. Two foot or one foot hop. Push. Mix it up if you want. Keep going. All the way. I'm gonna give you a little water break before our third set. Two and one. All right, quick pause. Quick water, get ready for threat set three. Whoops, hold on, watch, hold on. <laughs> All right, here we go guys. Third set's the charm. I hope you're sweaty like me today. It's finally a little bit warmer here. Okay, it's been so nice here. Here we go. Three, two, and one. Woo! Balance, aiming. I honestly can tell you today, it's the first day where I feel like I can push a little harder from being sick. So that's been a long time. And I'm going with how I feel. My energy's a little higher. Okay, burpee push up. Whatever that looks like for you. Are you on your back doing chest press? Maybe. Getting ready. You guys see me? Yeah. Three, two, and one, here we go. Push up at the bottom, I just about forgot again. Chest push up. 
on your knees or your feet. It'll slow that burpee down. Don't rush. Keep your form in that push up. So my hands are going down wide for that chest push up. really hard. Two and one. Let's go. Because I got to really pick up my feet. This soars my heart rate. Go hard, you guys. Break is coming up. Go, go, go. as I describe it. Uh, don't need this. We'll need the mat. Okay, so inner thigh squat to an Arnold press. Now, if you don't want to press above your head, you're just going to focus on your squats. Okay? If you're pressing above your head, you're going to grab some decent weights for under your chin, you're gonna be here and here. So you are gonna have some power from your legs to press up. Then we're gonna do a walkout, another push up. but bear with me here. You're gonna walk out, you're gonna do a tricep push up. Then you're gonna jack, then you're gonna walk back, okay? If you don't like any of that, you will stay upright tricep here. Okay, you pick the more complicated one or the easy standing one. We'll stay down there, plank row. Okay, if you don't like plank row, you'll be here standing or on your TRX. Okay, lots of options. Then we're going to speed skate. We got three rounds. Get all your weights ready. Plank row weights. If you decide to do the triceps, your press weights. I'm, uh, I'm going light on this press. Just from yesterday's shoulders, I'm feeling it. Getting ready, 14 seconds. You've had lots of rest. Three rounds. Let's go. Wide leg squat. Time is on. It's coming. I trust me. Take a good breath. Here we go. Now, with the press, you're going to squat first then press. If you want to do it all at once, you bring those weights up at the top of the press with some power. Keeping elbows neutral is easier on that shoulder. If you open up the shoulder like this, it's a little harder on the joint. You can decide. Do you make it your own? 
Decide what's good for your body. Maybe you're like, forget it, I just wanna do legs. Go for it. Two, one. Okay guys, this is the walkout push-up. Tricep jack, it's lots. Get ready at the back of your mat or standing triceps. So I'll start us off before the time. Walk yourself out. Give me a tricep push-up. Knees or feet, jack. Walk back, stay in your squat, go again. Tricep, try and go fast. So I'm doing the tricep from my knees. Oh, I forgot to do a jack. I don't know what I did there. It's a lot. Jack, walk back. Walk out. Your brain is busy. Tricep jack. Walk back. It's like a rhyme. <laughs> Tricep, jack, walk back. Woo! Tricep, jack, walk back. Okay. <laughs> Staying down there, guys, for plank row. This is a hard transition. So, 12s or 15s. You have 40 seconds here. Two, one. So, options. No weight. So, you're in a plank and you're practicing this. Still hard with no weight because you're in this plank, right? Further options. Maybe adding weight, but going to your knees. Okay? On the T-Rex, standing rows together, working that back. Two, one, get up. You got 15 seconds to get up. We're gonna speed skate. Now, it's funny because today I was going to do no jumping and then I saw Stacy's comment from yesterday. I'm like, oh, I'll kind of make it a little bit more combo-ish. So it's her fault <laughs> that we're doing this. So no jumping looks like this or you're jumping. Get that heart rate up. I'll give you a little bit extra break. Push. This is, feels like cardio hit, doesn't it, today? So a Metcon like this will feel like cardio, guys. Push. It's gonna feel hard. If it doesn't feel hard, we gotta make it feel hard. Whew. Two, one, let's take some extra rest. Round two coming up. Love you guys. Maybe it's just me that feels like it's hard. <laughs> All right. Just so you guys know, this inner thigh squat to press, I'm going so light. I got tens. So know that if you want to focus on those legs, take out those arms. I know there's shoulder injuries. 15 seconds we're going. Getting ready. Here we go. And time is going, let's start. Two, one, press. Keep that core engaged as you press up. I'm 
I'm power pressing this tricep, you guys, I'm going really fast. Okay, so there's a difference. Plank row between going slow and going fast. It's time under tension. We always practice kind of everything in this group. Here we go. Plank row. Breathe out. Go to your knees if you need to. Push through your feet. Find your core. Further options, you guys, I'm gonna show you without weights. Bird dog, okay? Don't make yourself more injured if there's spots when you're doing that plank row and you're like, I don't like this. It's hard. Advanced for sure. Two, one. 15 seconds to get up, we're speed skating. If you wanna keep moving with me before it actually starts, let's do it. Two. One, 40 seconds hard. Woo! Trying to push. I'm trying to baby my hamstring at the same time. I'm gonna give you longer rest again. Push. Two, one, keep walking. Grab a breath. Keep walking around. One more round. Sometimes the simplest workouts can be the hardest. seconds. Ready or not. Two and one. So you can go really wide with those legs or not. Okay guys, last set here. Then we have a finisher. It's a three by three finisher. This is four by three, four exercises, three rounds. I wanted to get through all of it. The finisher is always optional and I'm gonna reduce the time. Two, one, triceps. Taking this full 15 seconds. <laughs> Not starting before. Three, two, one, walk it out. Go. I'm trying to go really fast, guys, in this. You decide what your body can handle. Tricep jack up. And that triceps from my knees. Very dynamic. Take away 
either the feet or the weights. Great. Two. One, I failed a little early. Oh, hey, last time we have to do these speed skaters. Two, one, let's go. Push, 40 seconds hard. Cheers, guys. All right, we're gonna end that one. I'm reducing the time. Whew. Okay. Our finisher is starting standing. We're gonna do two standing, then hit the floor. I gotta change the time, so catch your breath before I show you. I can't even talk. Three exercises, 30 seconds, three rounds, 10 seconds rest. It's six minutes, guys. That's it. Okay, here we go. Now, you're gonna snatch with or without a weight. It's 30 seconds, so it goes by quick. Okay, so, sorry, this thing's talking to me. Whew. Snatch. Here. Knee, knee. Put it down, snatch on the other side. Knee, knee. So you're gonna have to really work your core. We've never done this. Okay, so if you don't like it, you can just pretend you have a weight or go really light because you're switching sides and it's only 30 seconds. Getting ready, that's the first one. The second one, we're jumping. We're doing a jump. What are we doing? Oh no, we're doing a squat twist. Okay, if you don't like that twist, squat jump or just squats, fast. Okay, then we're gonna hit the floor and do core on our back. Three rounds, three exercises, pick up the weight. This might take a bit of thought. Here we go, three, two, one. So I've got a 15. I'm snatching the 15, lifting my knees. Whoops, going back down, don't hit your head. Did you guys see that? <laughs> Switching sides. So you can go as heavy or as light as you want, but make sure you have a good snatch. Find your core in those knee lifts. Last one. All right, here comes the squats, twist. So you go squat, twist, twist, twist. Again, there's some core involved here. You're doing a quarter turn to come up. Just a little turn. So land in your squat, come up and turn. Little half turn. Keep your core engaged. Sit back. It doesn't have to be super fast. It's hard enough. Two, one, lay on your back. Legs up. Slow core, this is your gift. Two, one, I want you to go slow for 30 seconds. You'll barely get any in, but I want you to go slow. If you want fast, single leg V up. If you want double crunch, you know all the ones that I like to do. This is the safest. For your back and core, breathe. Two, one. 
And I washed my hair yesterday. You know how that feels when you're sweating like this. <laughs> oh well. That's how it goes. Back to the beginning, guys. Let's practice this new move. Together. Snatch. Knee. So tall core. Switch sides. Focus on that core. Last one. All right. Squat, rotate. Getting ready. Two, one. So squat, half turn. Or you're just squatting. Maybe you want to grab a weight and just do some squats or air squats if you don't want the cardio. You decide. It's all good. Make it your own. You do you, as I always say. Two. One, you got this, guys. Pick what you want. I'm going to change it to a double crunch. Two. One. So here, really focusing on not pulling on your head and neck, if you're with me. getting up. Careful. Okay, guys, we got this. Two, one, go. Other side. So you really have to focus on stabilizing that core to bring up your knees, right? If you ever, when I go to the chiropractor, it always makes me stand on one foot and bring up my knee to check my back. Okay, I always have to like focus on stabilizing so I don't tip over and I lift properly. Last one. Here we go. Last jumps. Whew. Two, one. Squat half turn, make it good. Get low, get low. Pop out of it. Pop squat is what this actually is. out of it. Go, go, go. Pop twist. Two, one. Okay. Last one, best one on the floor. You pick. Maybe you want to go to something completely new. Two, one. Maybe you're here for 30 seconds. You decide. Pick one of the three and focus. Two, one, don't move unless you desperately need your water. Stay here. Take advantage. Give one knee a hug. Take a deep breath. Exhale. Ah, it's your time. 10, 15. We have time. Rolling over to a nice twist. Just recover here. Take a big breath. Exhale. Oh, yeah. Gently come back to center. Hug the other knee in. Take big breaths. Woo! You're gonna feel awesome for the rest of the day. This is gonna give you energy for your day. Whatever it is you're doing, maybe you're now going to rest more.
twisting over, just taking advantage of this time. Ha. Come back to center. Bring your feet together and your knees apart. And I want you to take a big breath in. Exhale, bring your hands across your chest. Hug yourself, reaching for your shoulder blades. Release your glutes and drop your elbows to your chest. Exhale. Good, switch to the other side with those arms. Feet stay the same. Just focus on releasing through your hips and glutes here. Take a big breath in. Exhale, let the air out. Let everything sink to the floor. Rotate over to your side. Sideline quad stretch, push your hip forward. Open up to that full stretch position here. Woo, that feels good. Adjust yourself so you can feel what you need to feel. Inhale, exhale. That's a keeper, guys. That might show up in a challenge. Hoping to do a challenge in March. I'm saving it for March. When people fall off everything. And they're really ready to go. January, they always think they're ready to go. And then they try. And then it fizzles by February. <laughs> not us, though. Not us. I'm not talking about us. I'm talking about other people. Just kidding. All right. Push your hip forward. I always find that with February and kids, like, it depends. But a lot of them have that family day and then the teacher's convention. A lot of people end up actually going away then. So they kind of fall off what they started. And then by March, they're really ready to go because weather helps them be motivated. All right, I'm gonna grab a sip of water, but I want you guys in this position, we're gonna stretch here into this modified hurdler, big side stretch. We're gonna do this sequence that I like to stretch the side and the legs. So just bending over, stretching, So here with a big breath, inhale to come out of it, exhale to fold. Maybe take your hand behind your head, pushing your other elbow into your leg on the ground and finding that twisting stretch. Then come up, rotate towards your leg, cross your hands over, bring your knee all the way up. It's a little easier without shoes, so if you have time, take your shoes off. Put your forehead on your knee. This outside hand, reaching across, even if you just did that, you're gonna get a nice stretch into your low back. This is not so much about the hamstring as it is about just folding over. Tuck your chin to your chest, you're gonna stimulate your thyroid. Take an inhale and an exhale, let it go. Switch to the other side. Oh no, let's lift up. Open up through those hips. Oh. Having awesome conversations with you guys. Um, even if you don't think you need a conversation with me, it's just good to chat and connect. Sometimes it's good to hear some tricks and tips and reminders on how to be a little more efficient. Um, just to make it easier because I think we overcomplicate it. And everyone's searching for that magic thing. And there isn't one magic thing, right? We all know it's just specific to us. Cross your hands over, head down. Um, it's, if you've got to listen to that podcast, you guys, you've got to listen to it. If you don't talk to me on the phone, please at least listen to Jade's Metabolism. It's basically Metabolism 101 for the aging woman. Take your top hand, come up, reach, lift. And I know it can get a bit sciencey, and it talks a little bit more about hormones near the end of it, so it's hard to understand, but that's what we can talk about. I can explain it to you. 
inner thigh, sit up nice and tall, come forward. Shake out those legs, pretend, sort of trick them into relaxing by shaking them. Sit up nice and tall, come forward at the hip joint. Take another inhale breath. Maybe your hands are behind you and you're just feeling it here. If you're a little more flexible, you're gonna let yourself exhale and fold. Laying on your spine, figure four stretch. If you have a wall or something, you can put one leg up on it. We did this yesterday. We had some really good stretching yesterday. I can really feel it made a difference on me today. So either reaching through and grabbing your thigh or just using the wall to prop your other leg up. Take some big breaths and think of relaxing your glutes to the floor. Switch to the other side. Gently rotate yourself all the way over onto all fours. Cat cow. Release the spine. Round and tuck the spine, fingertips towards your knees, maybe leaning back, stretching out those forearms and hands, doing the same thing with fists, pushing in, stretching through the backs of the hands and forearms. From here, we're gonna go into kind of like a child's pose shoulder stretch. So, Open up towards me. You can do the regular thread the needle one, or you can sit back into your child's pose a little bit more and try this stretch. So this is where I feel this. Be careful on the shoulder. If you need to go back to the other one, it's a little less intense, I find. It just depends where you're tight. Take some deep breaths. Gently come forward to come out of it. Other side comes up. And basically you're sitting back and putting your hand a little closer to your legs as you rotate. This might be too much. Or you might not feel anything at all wondering what you're supposed to be feeling. That's okay. Coming up, tuck your toes, walk. You can actually, you might as well stay in downward dog for just a second, find those calf stretches. Walk your hands and feet together. IT bend stretch. Straighten one leg, let the other leg bend, your elbow bends into it, you let your head flop. Hamstring and IT bend stretch here. Switch to the other side. Slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time. Open up through the chest. Open up through chest stretch on the wall. All right, you guys. Saturday done. Please make sure if you haven't had a good quality rest and relaxation day that that is tomorrow for you, if it can be. Monday we'll be back with some strength. No jumping. Oh, Monday time. You know what? We're going to stick with eight. I barely had anybody showing up at 730. Um, so we'll try for eight on Monday. Thanks for showing up, you guys. Good crowd this morning. Have a great rest of your day. Happy weekend. Bye.